the inevitable has happened. A greater form of intelligence has descended from the heavens to pass judgment on us. These creatures have altered themselves from a gaseous state to that of men, and set up a cover corporation in New Jersey. For months, missing persons have been reported from Maine to Missouri, taken by a tall, dark figure. A CIA operative has traced these disappearances to a New Jersey town across the Hudson River. Conducting advanced experiments on the abducted humans and the safety of their facility, the alien scientists Dr. Leith and Dr. Peirce are about to begin the final test on man. And if successful, the invasion of Earth will soon enter the history of history. Sir. Another missing person has just been reported. Washington says we have to act on it now. All right. You interrogate this missing guy's wife, Mrs. Barbie of Fort Lee, New Jersey. Her address is 284 Vine Street. Okay, no problem. I'm on it. If you get any leads, no matter how small, you follow them. Go for the drug leader on this. The immediate focus on the psychotic kidnapper is making us look like utter crap. Of course, Mr. Workman, I understand. The bureau knows this is your first assignment, kid. Just use your instincts and be yourself. Good luck. Thank you, Mr. Wickman. I promise I won't disappoint you or the agency. Idiot. The final phase of our human analytical research project begins tomorrow. Do you have any final reservations before we begin? I have not had a single reservation about anything since I was born into this miserable universe. That is why we put you in charge of this operation. My calculations are precise. My hypothesis founded in fact. The subjects Cerberus have brought us have been very revealing into human existence. By putting a man and woman into the virtual generator, it will allow the romantic subconscious to flourish. Singling out that one trait we must eliminate in order to make them passive subjects for the infiltration of our race. And what would that trait be? Love. That is what fuels everything humans do, whether they know it or not. They all want love. Take away love from the humans? Do you think that would render them susceptible to a takeover? Is it that simple, my dear Pess? Believe me, Lef. Nothing regarding human love is simple. We are dealing with the reactor, the great internal power core of a species that might defeat us if we underestimate them. We shall see about that. Are your subjects ready for insertion into the virtual realm? That is the one complication I have foreseen. All of the subjects we have already tested are now just empty drones devoid of human emotion. We need two untarnished human samples. Then I have good news, Pers. Our blanket satellite has intercepted data regarding two human agents that have been sent here to investigate our operations. They represent both sexes and are of high-end security agencies, the American FBI and CIA. I will have Cerberus monitor their activity. Has he made contact yet? Cerberus has been here the entire time. Severus, come forward. We have one more little task for you, dearest. <laughs> Is he not wonderful? I could just dissolve into gas form and permeate that luscious armor. Pass, be serious. Severus, before the day is out, the human man and woman will come here asking questions about the people you have collected for us. These investigators will be our prime subjects. Collect them and prepare the virtual melding chamber immediately. That is all. Wait. Take the man. The woman will follow. I guarantee it. It is essential to the experiment. That's right. You need to make yourself a little less obvious, Agent. I don't like that wet behind the ears, do I? I think these two are considering a mating union. That should please you. 
will only add to the scenario I've chosen to insert them into. I must admit that I am quite curious as to what scenario you have chosen for our two lovely subjects. Oh, a little Greek one. Something along the lines of a love story. Come on, Purse. I prefer those hard-edged Japanese samurai tales. The tale of Orpheus and Eurydice is perfect. I've even added a twist. If you say so, then I will not disagree. You'll see. And so will they. That woman, Mrs. Barbary, is inside. She's a nice lady. She's got a lot to tell you about her missing husband. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't mean to be rude, but who are you? You don't live here, do you? Lisa Order, CIA. You bureau boys are always several steps behind us. Yeah, CIA, huh? I didn't know they made women. Your physical... Physical cal what? Caliber. Yeah, well, anyway, from what I just heard back in that house, and from dozens of other people I've been interrogating this past week, there's something big happening in this area. Really? Yeah. And I don't need some asshole rookie FBI brat with an uncle <laughs> high up in Washington messing things up for me. What did you just call me? What? What did I say? Exactly what you just said. Asshole rookie FBI brat? Yeah, that. That. Yeah. Good luck. This should not take long, ma'am. I just have a few standard questions. Standard? That girl Lisa asked me some very insightful questions. I'm just happy to know there's someone like her out there looking for fun. Mm -hmm. Well, your husband, he disappeared during a call to the Tardis Corporation? Not the actual corporation, but a down phone line on the property. The police searched that place with a fine tooth comb mm -hmm. and found nothing. Well, I don't think a multi million dollar corporation had anything to do with your husband's disappearance. Um, not so sure. Uh, that CIA agent Lisa, she seemed pretty on top of it. Aren't she? Well, didn't this order happen to say where she was going before she... Um, yes, actually she did. At an old Route 18 by the Tartarus complex. I would like to thank you for your cooperation and your time. Thank you. There is no earthly way of knowing <laughs> He's singing. which direction we are going. There's no knowing where we're rowing Or which way the river's flowing Is it raining? Is it snowing? Is a hurricane a-blowing? <laughs> Not a speck of light is showing So the danger must be growing By the fires of hell a-glowing Is the grizzly reaper mowing? Yes! The danger must be growing, for the rowers keep on rowing, and they're certainly not showing any signs that they are slowing! Peacefully. Where's John? Who the hell is that monster thing? You have two seconds to tell me. We One! Have, we have our methods here. Granted, sometimes they become quite unorthodox. Unorthodox? Yes. Before you entered here, I was about to go and see Orf. John Law, would you like to come with me? Leave the way. Anything happens, and I drop you. Got that? If you will follow, then I will show you. Wake up, Orpheus. Where am I? Who are you? I'm Dr. Purse, head of operations here at Tartarus. It's 
Tartarus. What do you want with me? Don't get upset, dear. Oh, shit. No, tell me a little about yourself. I'm not telling you shit. My partner's here with backup, so let me go. Not really, Orpheus. Your partner will be joining us soon enough. Are you calling me Orpheus? My name is John Moore. You ask too many questions. We will begin without the female. Cerberus! What the hell is that? Be still. It is time to come to terms with your soul. It won't be long now, you know, to see. I promise. Trissy, what? <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Wickman. I promise I won't disappoint you or the agency. <laughs> Idiot! <laughs> Scientists Dr. Leith and Dr. Purse are about to begin the... Oh, shit! I almost did it! <laughs> it was Lauren's elfish handwriting. He's got Nazgul. He's got Anyhow. Gosh darn it. Okay. <clears throat> You'll see, and so will they. <laughs> 